guys, it's Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting really to episodes 9 and 10 of Jabba's Reincarnation. It is really funny to just go ahead and do this on Sunday because I want to do this now so that tomorrow when I come home, um, after I watch Love Live and freaking the Ruby Starlight movie, I don't have to worry about this because, yes, we are officially in Hell Week for me, even though that's tomorrow, Monday the 18th, but it's the 17th, so I have to get ready for that ish. But of course, I need to know what the heck happened after that, like, <laughs> that little cute little cliffhanger they gave us last week <laughs> in episode 8. But other than that, let's go ahead and get started with episode 9 and 3, 2, 1, go. In Purgatory? Because you are you. Not Rudy. Dang, you died again? Oh my god. Or you could just be dreaming. You Jesus? Yeah. No, I think he's being truthful this time, though. Because mm -hmm. he called you Rudy. He didn't call you your, your original name. He's fishy. I mean, yes, person. <laughs> yeah, he might. And do you want to die again? I don't know. Will this be the same man in the previous episode? I'm guessing on it.
<laughs> yeah. Okay, there's a man. No, I, that's the man that you need to help, I believe. Chill, I don't think he's gonna do anything to you. Sir, your deep ass voice. I need to stop. <laughs> she better not be dead. Don't don't do this. Oh. At least a couple of days, probably. I figured. Yeah. Hmm. <laughs> oh my God, it is just calm down. It's okay.
Maybe the person who spread the rumor had like one little mishap with the spread. <laughs> so it started. <sighs> they like deep in the Grand Canyon, Jesus. I have a bad feeling about this. Who knows how long they've been walking? It's in the hot behind sun, like, oh God. their cousins. You, you don't want to know. Yeah. What? Yeah. Was that a Venus flytrap or something? Or you're slobbering. <laughs> Yeah, she's fine. <laughs> okay. Mm -hmm. Hmm. 
Yeah, they wouldn't really survive this much without him. Hmm. No, can, can we not advise the killing? I mean, I get it. <laughs> Well, that didn't sound good.
The baby learned that they not all bad. Oh my god, it was so sweet. <laughs> Look at her. I just look like two little kids hanging out with their dad. <laughs> yeah, I think this is gonna be fun. Probably gonna be a long ass way home. Cause, woo! <laughs> cause, oh, I I cannot imagine like being somewhere. You don't know where you are. You eventually do find out where you are, and you're like, okay, how do I get home? That's like, okay, like you go on a round, a trip around the world, or even a trip around the country, and such, and you just say, let's get lost, and let's just go somewhere. And then you go wherever, hopefully it's a safe place, and you're just like, all right, so this is our starting point. How do we get from here back home? And such and then the journey is always like the best thing and the relationships and friendships that you make along the way and that they blossom especially with whoever you're bringing on that journey with you it's really interesting but seeing stuff about this bird and learning a little bit about them in this episode because of course the rumors that Roxy told us and then freaking Eris <laughs> Freaking out and such, and then getting to know them in this episode, you're like, damn, yeah, they're not bad. Like, oh, God dang, I, I just need them to see each other again. Mm -hmm. It's coming. It is coming. But of course, I have to wait. How long do I have to wait, though? Because this, this is episode nine, so... Maybe episode 15? <laughs> I mean, because, like, the day or the episode that we finally see Rudy and Roxy see each other again after a long ass time. Like, first number one, ma'am, you're 44 years old. Oh, my God. Like, you look, like, she looks like a baby still. Like, oh, but, like, the, uh, see, mm -hmm, yeah, don't crack. Like, yeah, it's that aging. Like, oh. But this is very similar to, like, so many people that I've known, like, through both of my parents and where it's like, okay, um, there's just one lady that I know. And she is, like, I think she is in her 40s or in her 50s. And I'm like, my friend and I were looking and we're like, what? <laughs> and we both looked at each other and we're just like, damn, we want to look like that when we're your age. And such, and the things that people will, and she, she looks, she's like, um, what a lot of people say is a natural beauty and such, and you also say, depending on, like, your genes and everything, plus, you know, even with me in the situation of, oh, hey, black don't crack, and, like, however age that we look, people think they're this, like, that was with me, whereas when I was younger, because of my tallness, people thought I was, like, 
25 when I was 12. <laughs> but yeah, I'm like thinking, no, Roxy, like 14, 15, maybe in her like early 20s. Her mom. Her mom is But anime, <laughs> anime, <laughs> that is all. I mean, seriously, like, damn. But I think this journey is going to be really good for both Rudy and Edis, especially probably really more Edis. I feel like we're going to see a different side of her because now that she's kind of, what I like to say is stuck with Rudy until they get home, and she's not in the, like, okay, yeah, once again, Edis is a spoiled brat. We all know that. But now that she's out of the comforts of her home and she is out here, we're, like, we've already kind of seen a little bit of it. We've gotten, like, that little, like, smudge taste. Like, you know, maybe, like, that little bit of an apple pie or something. We about to get the whole damn meal in this next couple episodes. I feel like this is where she is going to come more as into her character we're going to have a lot more scenes where she's going to fight and it's going to be so freaking good. I just don't know how it's going to go and I just need that for this little girl. I need her to be badass as fuck by the end of this damn series. But go ahead and pause the video and I'll see you guys in one second for episode 10. Alright, episode 10 in 3, 2, 1. Hold on. 3, 2, 1, go. There we go, right there. <laughs> no, she like, no, I got it. Like, she never was a girly girl when we first got into it. I already knew she had tomboy. Uh. <laughs> As I was saying, we already knew she was a tomboy from regardless, but damn. So are we climbing over the cliffs? Or are we oh okay, never mind, we're going through something. I know, Jesus. Wait, hold on. Hmm. Right, you're going to paint them blue. Yeah, they covered the... Oh, that's pretty!
Damn. having a horse give us advice so oh, shit what do I feel? of course I knew that shit was gonna happen I gotta be the damn frog
He looks like a mon chop. <laughs> you know he can fix it, right? Yes, you didn't have to pick your hands up because <laughs> Yeah, you will run out of money quickly. Just to, you know, continuously guide you, maybe. So basically accepting the kitten job might be a really good opportunity, but a good opportunity like what? You okay? <laughs> what if we don't get home? I hope so. Please don't let the cat be dead. I mean... Hmm? Well, we're going down there. Motherfucker, that's a panther.
Jesus, are you okay? Well, hey, you got to do it sometimes. That too. He might not be able to change his reputation as he thought. Let's just get the kitty and get out. Stop! Are you serious though? Like that punch is going to do anything. I get it. And if this is the only way to make money, you do it. It's fucked up, but... Just that, I mean, you don't get anything else, damn.
your damn business, horse. Can we kill the horse? You know, once again, I hope these two make it home. That's all I care about. I feel like this, okay, so this arc has just started, so. I can see it lasting for, like, at least two or four more episodes. Mm -hmm. And then they finally get home, and they just, you know, they reminisce. We're like, hey. <laughs> Remember when we had a spray and he killed someone? <laughs> Jesus. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know what else to say. Oh, God. But I, okay. Because at first I'm thinking like, okay, when God came up and was like, yeah, take the lost kitty deal. Take that job. And, and I'm like thinking, okay, so you're telling me that if they take on, if they take this job, this is going to be good for them. And, and I'm sitting here thinking, how the heck is this going to be good for them? And it's like, okay, you do this and you have those two spread the word about them and stuff. The representation for them goes up and then, you know, they're not going to be like, I'm like, oh yeah, it's great. And they'll get money for it. I mean, because that's the biggest thing. They need the money right now. They're at a really fucked up time where, in a way, they might be struggling for it. And so they have to do anything that means their power in order to get that money. I mean, I'm thinking, like I said, that little, that little, sh <laughs> that little thing, that one little thing for finding that big behind cat. Big behind cat for that one teeny tiny little thing. Are you serious? I was expecting like at least more because I'm guessing like that lost kitty. Well, yeah, the lost kitty like job probably had to be there for a couple of days maybe. So yeah, like maybe it just depends on like how long um, a job listing is up. Then it depends on how much money you get. I don't know. But then... Really, it's more on that ranking. Depending on whatever rank you are is how much you get for it, correct? I don't know. So, I, I hope they get money because, of course, like, you don't want them struggling where it's, like, one minute they're sleeping in a hotel and the next thing you know they're sleeping on the street. Um, of course, we're going to see these three argue a lot. We're going to have a lot of more arguments with moments between these three in the next upcoming episodes. But this is only because this is what Rudy wants to do this is the plan that he's thinking out of and so we we don't know how this is going to conclude for this if it's going to be good but i can't speak good bad or anything in between of course i just have to continuously watch and see how the fuck this is going to go but yeah i'm a little skeptical about this now because you know this could be good and this could be bad at the same time but other than that guys that is my reaction view towards episodes 9 and 10 of jobless reincarnation if you guys enjoyed it please give me a like it really helps me out also subscribe to my channel i make videos every single day from the magical squad and of course i will see you guys officially all next saturday for patreons and next wednesday for everybody else for episodes 11 and 12 btw future dj we did it we survived hell week baby <laughs> 
We survived, even though probably when this comes out on Saturday morning, I am probably going to be exhausted at my three hours for work. And I'm just going to be like, I want to go home. <laughs> but good job, baby. You did it. But until then, I will see you guys all next time. Bye-bye.